Hello, this is Joseph Clark with Continuous Touch. We're going to be going over the Yealink T53 and the T53W. We're going to first start off by start a dialing a call. So you dial the phone number. You can start it by either hitting the speaker or lifting the receiver. This is letting you know the call is connected. The timer will start at the bottom. When the other caller hangs up, the screen goes back to the home screen and you can have, hang up the receiver. Next will be, um, when a call comes in, how to answer it. You can either pick up the receiver or hit the speakerphone button. I picked up the receiver, call is active. You can either hang up by hitting end call or just simply hanging up the headset, handset. Next will be to go over the transfer buttons. Let's start an active call. All right, we have an active call going. To do what is called a warm transfer, you press the transfer button. I'm going to be transferring it over to this phone here. To do so, you press the transfer key and the dial the extension number that you want it to go to. So once the call is picked up on both phones, I can then hit the transfer button here, just let the person know who is on the other line and hit transfer. Now the call has been transferred over to the other user. I'm going to end that call. Next is what's called a cold transfer. A call comes in. Call is answered. And if I want to transfer it right to this phone, I just press the button on the screen. I have this one set up for the top right button. Press there, that button there. It transfers a call to this phone. They answer. This phone can now be hung up and this call is connected with the other party that called in or that, that was needing transferred. All right, next we'll be placing a call on park. So we're going to get a call started again. When you have the caller on the line, what you're wanting to do is press the park one, two, or three. You may have more or less depending on your needs. So if I want to press, if I press park one, this will put the call on park one. Notice that on park one, you will now see it on all the phones that are in the business group. So if I were wanting to pick up the park from this phone, simply lift up the phone set and press park one. Now I have, now this phone now has the call that was parked by this phone on there. Do a three-way call, we will get another call started. Once you have the call started, press the conference key. You can either dial the telephone number you're wanting. It could be a cell phone number or a landline, or you can dial the extension number you would like to conference in. Press the call here. Once answered, press conference, and now we have all three members conferenced into this call. See, it has two other members. Hanging up the call. Here is the history button. It shows you who called. You can scroll through that by pressing the up and down arrow. The directory here, you can see the different names that you have in your business group. If you do not have the button on your phone, you could just press directory and that will find the other phone set. Page, page is 
pressed and it'll go over all of the phone sets. You can also do zone paging as well if needed. And that is all for now. If you have any other questions, make sure to give us a call at 404-963-9671. And thank you very much for watching.